Congress. I've never met anybody else who was able to operate at his level, both on the technological side and on the campaign strategy side. Millions of people contacted Congress and signed anti-SOPA petitions. Congress was caught off guard. There was just something about watching those clueless members of Congress debate the bill, watching them insist they could regulate the internet and a bunch of nerds couldn't possibly stop them. I am not a nerd. I'm just not enough of a nerd. Maybe we ought to ask some nerds what this thing really does. Let's have a hearing, bring in the nerds. Really? <laughs> Nerds? You know, I think actually the word you're looking for is experts. <laughs> to enlighten you so your laws don't backfire and break the internet. We use the term geek, but we're allowed to use that because we are geeks. The fact that it got as far as it did without them talking to any technical experts reflects the fact that there is a problem in this town. I'm looking for somebody to come before this body and testify in a hearing and say, this is why they're wrong. There used to be an office that provided science and technology advice, and members could go to them and say, help me understand X, Y, Z. And Gingrich killed it. He said it was a waste of money. Ever since then, Congress has plunged into a, a, the dark ages. I don't think anybody really thought that SOPA could be beaten, including Aaron. I think it was worth trying, but it didn't seem winnable. And I remember maybe a few months later, I remember him just turning to me and being like, I think we might win this. And I was like, that would be amazing. <laughs> Calls to Congress continue. When the domain hosting site GoDaddy becomes a supporter of the bill, tens of thousands of users